Welcome everyone. The latest update for patch 1.2 was just posted with a new gameplay and also new features. There's a lot to go through guys. Massive, massive update and there's a lot of things we can go through. Look at those rewards. And over here we can see some of the nice rewards for the free wishes, for the prototype weapons and also sentry materials, special wings and also special weapons. So there's a lot we'll go through with this one. Now this was just posted officially about 34 minutes ago and basically this is a massive summary of the new patch 1.2. The new area Dragon Spy is going to be available. If we have a look closely, you can see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. I believe there's about 12 warp points. And if you guys know the warp points, each ones we discover will get special primal gems. You can also see a special domain over here. And it's a special tree for the new area. Now, if you guys remember earlier, there is going to be a sub zero climate detail. We can see over here, there's a special bar called the share code. As this bar decreases, we'll start to gradually lose HP, and this gets very dangerous. And additionally, as you can see over here, if we're swimming, if we're in the cold environment under severe weather, this bar will decrease more quickly. Now, there are also other elements that's added to the new environment. We can see over here, as we take new monsters, we want to shatter those special things before we fight the monsters, because this can give the monster special effect. And also because this is a new zone, what we're going to see is the unusual leyland extreme conditions we will not be able to use some of the gadgets within the new zone. So this is quite interesting. I'm sure they're talking about the treasure compasses and also you know they want you to search for the treasures instead of using the compass by themselves. And over here we can see that if we're worried about the sub-zero environment, you can see here that if we actually have pyro characters with torches, with the brazers, with a lot of things that can set things on fire, we can still use those. I do believe somewhere they said pyro characters cannot set fire on the grass because those grass are covered by snow. So over here we can see some of the mechanics that can keep us warm with pyro characters or with special mechanics over here and over here. Similarly, there will be new dishes which will decrease the suffering of the cold environment which lasts for 900 seconds. And this can be very useful as we explore the new areas. And finally, to combat the cold condition, we'll be making a special gadget called the warming bottle. To be able to craft this special item, we have to be offering level 4 with the first force bearing tree rewards and this will give us a special gadget. And finally, there's a special element feature called the Scarlet Cross. This particular item not only making us immune to the cold environment as we find those, this can also allow us to shatter special mechanics within the region that normally we wouldn't be able to break. So we can't shatter that by weapon or by pile. You have to be buffed with the Scarlet Cross to be able to break those. Now if you guys remember earlier, we talked many times about this ancient tree which we get, get special rewards as we offer to the tree. And over here you can see, if we stumble by some of the crystallized chrism agate and we offer that to the tree, we can level up the tree. And this will award us with a quintin wishes, intertwin wishes, a wing glider, and a lot more gadgets. So you can see all the rewards for leveling up this tree from level 1 to level 12. We're looking at 1, 2, 3, 4. Looking at 4 fates, quite a bit of mora. We're looking at one weapon prototype that would look likely to be able to craft a new lens. We can also see the new catalyst weapon with level 10. Level 11, character, talent, upgrades, and also level 12, a special wind skin. Over here we can see the special crafting for the warming bottle, which is unlocked at level 4. You can see that this will require us to have 2 of the flame flower serum, and also 2 of the special little sea monsters, which I'll show you guys where to collect those. Now after crafting this item with the flame flower salmon and also the star silver, this bottle can be used as a one time gadget item. This bottle will have a special radius like this and it will go on to a 120 second cooldown. And you can see during that the shear coat will be reduced and this will take away the effect of the cold weather and prevent us from losing HP. Over here we can see some of the new rewards from the tree which is a special name card, a special weapon and we get to see the stats of the weapon. This catalyst have attack percentage, 42 attack, and also hitting enemy with normal charge attack has 60% chance of performing and dropping Everforce Cyclet above Venom, which deals 80% additional AoE damage, and also enemies affected by Cryo are dealt 200% additional attack damage. This effect can only occur every 10 seconds. So this is basically an item that can be very useful, especially you can debuff enemy with Cryo. And also this weapon have a small AoE radius which can work very well with the substats with high attack. Looking over here, we can see this is the level 12 final reward for the force bearing tree. This is a snow based wing glider and this looks pretty nice, really fits the environment actually. 
I would love to see some glows on it if possible, but this already looks very beautiful. And this will be a special win. I'm getting a lot of wins from Mondstadt, from the rain, and also from the snowy mountains. Now, if you haven't subscribed, this is a really good time to do so. Make sure you also turn the bell on for the latest news as I find more of them for us. You can see that we're really dedicated for Genshin Impact. We'll have builds, guides, tips, news, and events updates for everything that's Genshin Impact related. Now finally, as we unlock the Force Bearing Tree to level 8, what's going to happen is, there's going to be more ways to get the Crimson Agate, which allows us to get more levels for the tree. And over here, we'll unlock the Crimson Witch, which is a new way to get the Crimson Agate. We can be doing particular quests, we can be following particular tasks, and this will refresh every Monday and Friday. What this allows us to do is to have a quicker way to level the tree after level 8. And you can see the Crimson Witch over here. The first time I saw it, I was like, oh, are those three wishes? But it turns out they are here to give us the Crimson Agate, which is used to level the tree. Next up, we have the new domain. If you guys remember earlier, there were two artifact pieces that were shown in the live stream. One increased hydro damage, one increased cryo damage, and also critical chances. We'll go through the details of those artifacts and builds in a special video. But for now, basically, if we unlock this domain, we can acquire those two sets. And those can be very good for characters like Child, Mana, for characters that's going for cryo damage, and also Gamu to come very excited. Now there's something special to notice in this special new domain is that characters will continuously to acquire a shared code, and there will be platforms which changes between the Sub-Zero and also Warm status. If you go into the Warm status, your code will disappear, and vice versa, if we go into the Sub-Zero status platform, the shared code conditions will increase and also deal more damage to us over time. So this is more like a hop skip, and you want to find the Warm Zones to take away the shared code. And finally, we have the massive new event, the Clock Prince and also the Dragon event. Now we can see over here, we'll be getting a free exclusive event weapon called the Festering Desire. This particular weapon actually has special buffs to characters who use this weapon in the Dragon Spine region. And because it's a one-hand sword weapon, the Traveler can use this one, or Battle can use this one, a lot of one-hand sword characters can use this one. This weapon is extremely powerful, even stronger than some of the 5 stars, because this weapon allows the character to deal 60% more damage in the zone, also increase critical chance by 35%, also reduce the share code conditions. So basically, this is weapon screaming at you. You need a one-hand sword character. You need to use this weapon. And you get a lot of free materials to level up the weapon. This weapon is looking really strong. And if you guys are wondering, because we'll be giving a lot of items, ascension materials, experience books, and also the weapon refinement materials, we can level this weapon with all the event shop items. We do not need to go into any of the dungeons. We don't need to find duplicates. Everything is given in the event. Now you guys might be wondering, do we also get some primal gems from this special event? The answer is yes we do. It is not revealed over here, but previously I showed in one of my videos, we can see some of the screenshots of how much primal gems we can get with this special event. Just from the screenshots alone, we're looking at at least over 600 primal gems, which is actually really generous with the new patch. To summarize this patch 1.2 update, what we're going to see is there's a lot of work points for special primal gems as we unlock those. Also, we'll have to look at the sub-zero conditions, how this works, special elements we can break to weaken the monsters, and also special ways to keep ourselves warm, special item, gadgets, and also a scarlet quartz, which can keep us warm and also break objectives. We also had a look at the new future with the Force Bearing Tree, which have a total of 12 levels with free wishes, experience, mora, and also a lot of goodies with crafting materials, character talent materials, and also wind glider skin. Finally, we had a look at the new artifact dungeon with a special platform for the cold and also with the warm. And also we had a look at the special event weapon, which looks extremely broken and powerful with 60% increased damage and also 35% increased critical rate. I'm definitely going to try this weapon on my kitchen. This looks really good, guys. Now, if you found this video helpful, make sure you subscribe and also turn the little bell on for the latest news. I'll be looking towards to make more builds, guides, tips, and news and event updates for us as we come further into the game. And as always, I wish you guys the best of luck with catching and have the most fun in exploring this wonderful world.